Today we are going to make the sexual views of this given object and we have already made the orthographic projection of this object in the previous video and I have provided the link of that video in the description box below. Please check it out. So first of all we are going to make the full sectional front view. Now we are going to cut this top view by the help of a longitudinal vertical section and this symbol represents that we are going to observe this object from the upper part and we are going to remove this lower part of the object so it will look like this in 3D. You can see that this part which is gray in color that is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. This part has been touched by our section plane. So we should hatch this section in our front view. But the other parts hasn't been touched by our section plane. Because this part is a hole which is generated from this circular part. So we should hatch this numbered part that is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. This part should be hatched in our front view. We can clearly see from the top view that our this part is a hole. And there is also a slight cut in this part. So our section plane hasn't touched any parts from this part to this part. So nothing will be hatched in these parts. But our section plane has touched from this part to this part. So we should hatch these sections only. And we can also see that this part which is hole from the semicircular part that we can see from this side view. So this part is also a hole. So we do not need to hatch this part as well so we need to hatch only those parts which has been touched by our section plane now i'm going to convert this and this hidden line into the solid line we won't be able to see this hidden line from the interior view like this so i'm going to erase this hidden line as well this hidden line will also appear as a solid line from the interior view so i'm going to convert this into a solid line we won't be able to see these lines from the interior view because these lines are seen only from the exterior view and now we are going to make the interior view in the sectional view so we do not need this and this line so I'm going to erase these lines as well so only these parts will be hatched from our sectional view and we can see that this line is also visible beyond our section plane so we need to convert this line into the solid line but we do not need to hatch over this part because our section plane hasn't touched anything from this part to this part so our full sectional front view is completed we are going to make the left side view on section BB. So we have to cut our top view by the help of a transverse cutting plane BB. And we are going to absorb this part and remove this part. So our 3D will look like this. Our cutting plane has tossed this part and this part of the cylinder. And these two parts resembles the rectangle that is this part and this part. So we need to hatch only these two rectangles. And we can clearly see this in our 3D view. So first of all, I'm converting these two hidden lines into the solid line. And we are observing this part and we have already removed this part. So we cannot see this cut part in our 3D view. So we won't be able to see these two hidden lines coming from the cut part. So I'm going to erase these two hidden lines in our side view similarly this rectangular part and the semicircular part is visible only from our exterior view but we are going to make the interior view in our section view so we won't be able to see this rectangular part and the semicircular part so we need to erase these two parts as well like this now we need to hatch this rectangle and this rectangular part in our side view like this in this way we have completed our sectional left side view on the section bb